The first thing says, um, create a video about your transition from your last school to SBU and how C-STEP has an impact on your year. So my transition from, from my last school to S Stony Brook, I think it was pretty uh, easy and it was nice. I mean, I like college a lot better than high school because you, <laughs> you can just like like do whatever you want and have freedom and like yeah there's a lot of work but I feel like it's not every night where like something is due so it's kind of more spread out and yeah you're gonna have days where you're like overwhelmed with homework and like assignments to do but I feel like if you're able to sort of balance it and like spread it out then it shouldn't be so overwhelming but like in high school, I remember like taking so many AP courses, but staying up to like 3 a.m. every time. And that was just horrible. Like, I don't find myself doing that anymore. I mean, like I do stay up late, but I mean, not usually till three in the morning unless I'm just messing around. I don't know. It's weird. Like we have so much work, but like it's not as bad. Like I, I actually feel like there's a reason for this work and like compared to high school, really it doesn't matter. Everyone's going to get the same diploma, like whatever. The other part was um, how C-STEP has helped, right? C-STEP has had an impact in like transitioning for me because um, like not everybody's in C-STEP and so they don't get that channel like of friends especially like now with everything being online like it's harder to make friends but we still have like our c-step family and you know everyone made that video for me and that was really nice and it's like it's a hard time right now so not everybody has a support system and i really appreciate it um first time mentors what is something unique about your mentee how was your experience as a first time mentor are you a first time mentor well Last semester was my first year. Yeah, okay. So, so like, I, I could still, like, talk about it. Because okay. it is my first year. I would say something unique about you is that you do YouTube. Like, I love that. Because, like, <laughs> I have never, like, actually met anyone that has, like, actively done YouTube. And, like, I always say I'm going to do it, but I never do. But I think it's really cool that, like, you have, like, you have two channels now. Yeah. So you have, like, um, creative outlet. And I love it. I like watching your videos and stuff. And... I'm really excited to see your channel grow. So thank you. <laughs> that's cool. And then um, you also do. <laughs> you're still doing that um, that internship where like you do the translation for patients' families and stuff, right? Yeah. So that's pretty unique too. I think that's really awesome. And if I was a fluent speaker in Spanish, which I'm not, I would love to do that. So I think that's really cool. Um, and yeah, obviously, like you're a good student, but I feel like. Um, there's a lot more to you than just that. So I like that about you, how you're able to express yourself creatively. Yeah. And then what was the other part of the question? I forgot. How was your experience as a first time mentor? Honestly, um, it was really good. It made it very easy for me. Um, definitely always on top of it. So I've heard like a lot of horror stories about first time mentors like having a hard time getting their mentee to like participate and meet with them. And honestly, like it could have been terrible because I live on, I lived on campus and you commuted, but um, we made it work and this semester got even harder because our schedule felt like they were like flip flops, but like we still made it work. And now I, I think it's, it's cool. Like, I feel like we have a good relationship and we're able to just accommodate to each other's schedules and that's really important we're still able to communicate with each other <laughs> it was like <laughs> the next question is for veteran mentors um which i guess you can also kind of be answering this one what was different about this semester and what is your favorite part of being a mentor different our schedules were so different this semester like i remember at, like at first we were like oh like we're like oh um, I have stuff this day and you're on campus this day but then you're not on campus this day and I don't have stuff this day so it was a little bit harder um we still I think we still did go to some C-step meetings and stuff though like this semester um if I remember correctly we did do we did go to a few meetings together or a couple events um but it, I think honestly it just made us 
it forced us to communicate more and it forced us to like plan ahead because I feel like first semester we kind of were able to just like a couple of days before oh let's meet today or let's go to the C-Step Lounge and do it then like oh I'm here today like we can meet but like for this semester like we really have to plan like let's do it this day around this time and then like it worked out better that way and at first it was a little hard um because like things would come up but like once like it was planned a few days before I put it in my calendar and that space was taken time was allocated for it and it was good and I also feel like even if we're not meeting we still do text and like communicate that way so it's not like it's just the meetings where we're like oh this is like a mandatory thing like I like when um I can answer your questions and stuff because it makes me feel like I'm doing something so I it makes me feel like I'm actually having an impact instead of just like taking a one credit class so that's what I like I like that's my favorite part honestly is being able to like give my advice because I've been in your shoes before not too long ago and it I feel like I'm not like lecturing you because like I literally have just been through it like less than a year ago so or a year ago so it's like I feel like I can relate to you better that way since we're so close in age and I feel like I can really help you because I know exactly like how you're feeling <laughs> taking the same courses and I know how difficult they get I know how frustrating it gets so that's my favorite part is being able to do the same thing that my mentor did for me last year oh yeah thank you I appreciate you for texting me back when I have a lot of questions to ask <laughs> the next one is shout out your favorite c-step graduate who is your favorite c-step graduate <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, is Darlene graduating I, this semester? I don't know. That's why, like, I'm not sure. She <laughs> helped me a lot, as, like, especially last year. She really helped me um, get accommodated, especially with schedule making. She pretty much made my whole spring schedule because health science advisors, there are only two of them, and they're usually very busy, and sometimes they give you false information. So it's nice to know from straight from the source because the advisors haven't always taken courses at Sony Brooks. So they don't really know they right, someone yeah. know but they don't really know so having them in that field is nice but I would say I know that Jewel graduated she's probably my favorite graduate just because like she's been there for me for academic and personal stuff and like we're very close we do we did so much together in a short amount of time like I didn't know her for years and years but it felt like that because she would push me to do better she when I first met her I was so intimidated because I thought she was perfect she had everything together and in a lot of ways that she she does have it together but getting to know her showed me that like that doesn't come easily like she still works she still stays up she still watches lectures on her free time like and she still struggles like everyone struggles so like having and she was she's not that much older than us she's like a couple years but she's like such like a calming presence and she really had a lot of advice for me so it was nice to have someone like that around um i'll shout out darlene she's very funny and fun friend to talk to and she supports my youtube channel as well yes. <laughs> so shout out to you so when you do graduate <laughs> whether it's a semester or next semester she's super helpful. next one is if you could give advice to a younger you or incoming student what would you tell them I would say to adjust their mindset. A lot of times, a lot of people that go to Stony Brook, they go through high school with straight A's, they go through their whole life with straight A's, like never a B on their transcript, never anything less than an A. And they do that while doing sports, doing a bunch of clubs, and they think they can do it. I was one of them who thought I could do it while being at Stony Brook. And like, after the first exam where I got a bad grade, I was like, wait <laughs> what happened because I studied so I think just adjusting the way that you think about grades is super important because if not like it can really have a big impact on your mental health because you feel like you're putting in so much effort and like it's not paying off and that you're you're just dumb like you literally feel like you don't belong there sometimes so I would say to just like take a step back and realize even if people are saying they're not struggling they are struggling because everyone's struggling so just like take a breath like know that it's hard for a reason and that everyone has struggled through classes and everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses and sometimes it doesn't come easy to you but if you put in the work like it'll be worth it if you, i'm just saying like if you come to stony brook you need to like i don't know be ready and like buy all your pencils and your pens and just like be ready to pay attention don't worry about i'm mean, like you can make new friends but it's not like the biggest issue just pay attention to the professor because on the first day like of chem i was like i, I stepped into javits and it was like everybody was there and then my desk was broken <laughs> my desk was broken and I was like because I sat all the way in the back and I I couldn't even find a left-handed desk I didn't even know where the left-handed desks were and then I saw the guy next to me like I I had all the notes and stuff and like the syllabus printed out and the guy next to me 
like not even had written a single word on this piece of paper and I was just like okay these, this is gonna be two different people in this class this semester um choose who you want to be I guess because there's gonna be like so many people of that and, like, like a, a, <laughs> I remember that too going into Javits the first time I I literally remember how I felt I was like whoa like because you hear 600 people but hearing it and seeing yeah. it are two completely different things I was like <laughs> wait it was a lot of people and then also going back to the friends thing I would say like make sure you surround yourself with people that are like-minded because if you don't there are so many people there are so many people at Stony Brook who are really goal-oriented and are like gonna push their, their friends there are also a lot of people that I met that aren't goal-oriented and they don't really care as much as you do and they don't have your best interests in mind so I think it's okay to have those types of friends too but know the difference between the two and know who you can go to for things and who you can't go to for things and know who you should be hanging out with most of the time and who you can party with sometimes and like hang out with sometimes and make sure you know that difference because if you don't it's so easy to think oh well we'll all be okay like no they're not going to graduate they're not going to be taking their your MCAT they're not going to be taking your exams for you so you need to make sure that you know your own stuff and you don't get mixed up in that and I'm lucky enough to have C-STEP, which really, like, pushed me in the direction of people who did have similar goals, and we were all taking the same class this freshman year, and we all studied together, we all pushed each other, and I honestly think that's super important, especially when you're confused about something, or you just need support. Having people that are going through the same thing is so helpful. I agree with you 100%. Also, another thing I would say for them is to get Google Calendar, like, 1,000%. Like, it's so helpful. I know some people that are in different colleges, but they're not using it. I'm just like, let me put you on <laughs> like yeah, right now in there. like whether it's school related or not and the first time I ever went to anything C-step related was before even the freshman summer thing it was the first orientation it was like google calendar is your best friend and I was like no it's not and then like yeah, literally right. in the summer program I was like oh I love this app like it's so cool it reminds me about everything it's really useful, especially when you're super busy with clubs and meetings and classes and assignments. It's, it gets so overwhelming that just putting everything like onto something that you can see is so helpful. Yeah, and what I did was at the beginning of semester, I went through all the dates that they had on the syllabus and stuff and like the finals and stuff, and I put all that in my calendar. So now I don't have to like remember when it is. I'll just check my Google Calendar. And now since they're coming up, it's actually working out for me. I'm really happy about that. Um. Okay, what is one goal you were driving towards this year? I think, again, with the mindset thing. Obviously, like, my goal is to have a higher GPA, but I feel like that's everybody's goal. But, like, my true goal was to be happy while being successful because a lot of times it can get really stressful and it's hard to, like, take a breath and just enjoy the moment that you're in. And that was one of the goals I had. I feel like I did a pretty good job of it. I went through a really stressful first semester and I had to put a lot of personal stuff aside but I was able to do that, and, like, even now, I'm still going through different things, but I feel like I'm dealing with them better, and, like, I'm, instead of first semester, I'm taking the time to, like, actually deal with them while doing my school and being more understanding with myself and knowing sometimes, like, you need a mental health day. Sometimes you need to take a breather, and you need to just take a breath to, like, compose yourself again, so I think definitely keeping in mind my mental health this year was super important for me, because by the end of my freshman year, I was so burnt out after taking my finals that I was just, like, I'm ready to go home, I really don't care if I passed or failed, it's over, and my freshman year is over, so this year, I feel way more, like, like, it's doable, like, I feel like I'm breaking things up more efficiently, so it's, it's good, like, I think I'm making progress, like, my second, first year, I learned a lot, second year, still learning, but, like, I think I'm doing better. Oh, my goal this year was definitely, I mean, this semester was to raise my GPA because it was not that great last semester. I'm, hopefully, um, it's better. I'm I'm still, you know, waiting, at, waiting it out. I think my chem grade should be better. Um, I don't know about bio, but, like, we'll see. And then, like, everything else, it should be an A, hopefully. Um, yeah, but I, re I really hope. Like, my music class, I'm trying to get a, um, an A in that class because it's three credits. <laughs> so, like, I need A in this three-credit course to help me because last semester I got a B in a three-credit. It was, like, an elective about aliens. And I was just like, are you kidding me? I got a B in this. <laughs> this one is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Why? I want to be a physician assistant. I don't know. I've always been interested in healthcare since I was little. My mom works in a hospital, so, like, I've gotten to know different specialties and um, I like physician assistant, that idea, because I'm very indecisive, and you can change your specialty without going back to school. It's less schooling than um, 
being a doctor and for me like that's in like for some people for other people like they want to be a doctor and that's good but for me personally I I don't want to be one I'd rather be a physician assistant I like how it's like I like how you can do so much and like you can still have kind of control over your schedule and you don't make as much as a doctor but like it's still enough like it's enough for me and I feel like I'll be really fulfilled with that job and my main goal I don't know what specialty I want to go into yet like I was thinking like maybe working in like the NICU which is like with like the premature babies or surgery or emergency medicine but I kind of want something that's really exciting and then maybe when I'm older I'll like settle down a little bit but like right now I want something that's like high pace like high demand and I'm like really excited um I mean me and me and Sam have gone over this question a billion times of what we want to do in the future um, I want to be a pediatrician, but I want to specialize in dermatology because I, I really like skincare and just like all that kind of stuff. I want to take it out of people's face. Um, but yeah, that's kind of really what I'm interested in for now. I'm maybe in the future, um, like when we're doing like our rotations and stuff, I might change it. It's really early. I do want to go into medicine. I mean, when I, I was growing up, like I was um, talking about like owning a restaurant, being a business owner and all that stuff. And then I was like, nope, you know, medicine is the way I don't, I don't want that anymore. People complain too much about food. Um, no thanks. Yes, so yeah. Shout out your favorite C-step advisor. How have they impacted you? Definitely Liz. Cause I don't know. I feel like I, I love like my one-on-one -on -one meetings with her. Cause I feel like it's almost like a therapy session to like vent about everything. Um, I don't know she's always there she's always in the office when I'm there so it's nice to just always have someone there if you need to talk about something or if you're stressed um I've gone to her a bunch of times and it's always really helpful I'd also say Liz mainly because we have her as our advisor for mentor mentee and she listens to you when you talk so I really like that she's just listening all ears and provides feedback um she gave me advice on how to like plan my schedule to make sure I get all the classes I need before I graduate and I spilled that already um, also, and she's impacted me in a way that she's helped me get um, stuff for the C-Step book loan, <laughs> um, give me overall advice. Thank you for watching our video. Um, I hope it was really helpful. I hope my answers are helpful. Um, and I hope that you guys are staying safe with COVID-19 and that you know that we'll get through it and we'll be okay. Yes, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos. <laughs> but also... Um, Thank you for this extra credit opportunity and maybe we'll see our video in the closing ceremony. Yes. <laughs>